Hello guys and welcome to another video. Please subscribe and support this channel. In one of my last videos I installed Windows 7 on this 15 inch 2008 MacBook Pro and I'm using it since. It's almost one month since I used Windows 7 on this MacBook and I'm pleased how it works. But I encountered some problems that I will cover in another video so I decided to install Windows 10 on this MacBook and see how it works. Installing Windows 10 on this MacBook it's a simple job and can be done in two separate ways. First, in my case, only go to my installer and upgrade this Windows 7. Or in other cases, it can be done simply by pressing Alt key and power and from boot screen select your Windows 10 installer. Windows 10 installer can be downloaded with all the software from Microsoft's site and be very careful because you need to download only the Windows 10 ISO file to create a USB installer or a DVD installer. Let's start upgrading this Windows 7 and see how it works. Click on my computer and I select my installer drive that is on DVD installer. I choose this option because uh, this uh, MacBook has a DVD drive built in. Now just click setup. Be very patient because it's a time consuming operation. Now select next. Now click accept. Now we select OK. Now we select install Windows 10 Home, keep personal files and apps. Click install. And now let the installer do his job. Be very patient because uh, this PC will restart uh, several times.
Now let's set, set up this MacBook. I'm not entering the key at this moment. I just do it later. I accept the terms. Now let's set up this MacBook and the whole process is done. At this point, after the whole installation process is done, you must install all the drivers that you that I use uh, on Windows 7, drivers that I downloaded from Bootcamp from macOS. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and support this channel.